Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Mitch. Good Saturday morning to you all. Hope you guys are having an awesome start to your day. Great start to your weekend. Got you an update on what potentially could unfold weather-wise for your Saturday, July the 23rd. It's going to be a pretty active day today, guys. I want to say that uh, up front. I think certain areas could see some significant severe weather. A damaging wind threat is there, even a tornado and hail threat, but I think the damaging wind threat will be big today. Across some heavily populated areas, areas of the Midwest into the Ohio Valley could certainly get impacted hard, areas of the Great Lakes region also. So we're going to break that down in the beginning of the video, and then we'll break down each other individual area. could be a very hot day today, one of the hottest days of the summer expected across portions of uh, the coastal regions, especially of the northeast areas like New Jersey, Virginia, areas of the Delmarva area could get over 100 degrees today. So if you guys have not subscribed, certainly consider doing that. Like the video if you like it. Appreciate the support. You guys got anything that I can pray about, please put in the comments below. It gives me an opportunity to pray over it, and it gives others an opportunity to do so too. We all look out for one another and glorify God doing it. I want to tell you guys I have a video tonight. I, I, you know, We're going to discuss the tropics. There's been an uptick um, and one specific, uh, a very reliable model that really likes the idea of a tropical wave making the distance across the tropical Atlantic. And we're going to talk about that tonight. So stay tuned for tonight's video uh, with a big tropical update. But upper trough going across the northern Rockies, this will really pump up a big complex of severe storms. And in fact, you can actually see the origins of it beginning leaving the Dakotas, getting into Minnesota now. But uh, there will be more back building behind this. But this little area right here that you see, the more white area, water vapor, higher water content, this is storms actually ongoing right now. In fact, we look at radar scope. Some of these storms are severe. In fact, almost all of them. This has been a nasty line of storms. There was a tornado warning south of Chicago earlier. This will continue to drift through portions of northern Indiana, northern Ohio, into probably more so central Ohio. Then it'll dig down here, then probably try to whip back northeast with directional flow. But I think this will lose some steam in the, later in the morning hours. And then a storm complex behind this will be the bigger story. So if you're seeing these storms now and you're thinking, well, these are storms that are expected to be bad today. Say if you're in northern Illinois, uh, areas of southern Wisconsin, these are not the storms that are going to be the highlighted threat today. So Enhanced risk for severe storms today. It's not super common for this time of the year, but it happens. Uh, this is a large area. It's been extended. Here are big cities like Minneapolis, La Crosse, uh, Milwaukee, uh, the border of slight and enhanced. Uh, you in Chicago, you're in a slight. But this um, area of enhanced extends all the way through Lake Michigan into areas of western Michigan, southwest Michigan. So this is going to be a big threat today. Tornado threat will be there especially earlier in the storm mode of this system earlier this afternoon. Some of these storms can get more um, uh, semi-discreet, if you will, and this more of a linear threat. Linear meaning um, that this could be more of just a line of storms. But there will be a small, there is going to be a small tornado threat, 5% risk of a tornado, 25 miles in a given location, Minneapolis, La Crosse, and any other small towns in between Milwaukee. This includes y'all, but the wind threat, this is the biggest threat. The red area you see, that is a 30% chance to see damaging winds pushing 50 knots or higher. That is 55 to 60 mile per hour winds. The Hatch region, which is the black outline region in this area right here, includes Milwaukee, uh, basically the entire southern half of Wisconsin and southeastern uh, areas of Minnesota, and then northeastern areas of, Wy of Iowa. Sorry, get my states mixed up. That is a 10% chance inside it's not added. It's not. It doesn't mean there's a 40% chance. It's just a 10% chance, kind of overlapped or underlapped, of this 30% chance to see significant wind damage. That's winds pushing 65 knots or higher. There's a 10% chance of that. That's winds pushing 70 to 75 miles per hour, almost hurricane strength winds in these areas. Hell threat will be there too, especially earlier in the storm mode. There's a 15% chance of hail approaching one inch or diameter or larger in this area, and then you got a 10% chance of hell in this hatch region, of hell producing, of hell reaching two inch or diameter or larger in this hatched region right here. Significant weather expected today, guys. It's going to be an active weather day as I really think a big complex, kind of like a broken line of storms. It won't be broken for long. Once it becomes more solid, it loses probably more of the tornado threat, it becomes more of just a straight line damaging wind threat. So it's going to be dangerous today across this portion of the country. And with that, you're going to have a slight risk for flash flooding. That is at least a 15% chance of flash flooding being met, where just these you know, storms bring heavy rain. So just watch out for flooding. 
And the watches and warnings. So this pink area, that is actually severe thunderstorm watches, which are already up for areas all the way into Minneapolis. Uh, this is actually for the beginning of this storm complex. It's about to get going. So there's already severe thunderstorm watch. These severe thunderstorm watches right here, this is actually for what's going on this morning. So this will probably be later dropped. All the um, arms that you see, that is heat advisory, is very hot. But there's a couple excessive heat warnings in areas of far southeast PA and areas of uh, New Jersey and even a, a couple counties in northern Delaware. So it's going to be dangerous today with the heat. So please be careful. Luckily, the humidity is not that bad, but the actual air temperature is going to push 100 degrees in these areas today. So let's get a more broader look at what's going to happen. So we got what's happening down here right now. This will continue to push through. We're getting into about late morning, 10, 11 a.m. You already have the beginning of this system getting going. This continues to develop, gets to around uh, lunchtime, moves through uh, Minneapolis. How intense will it be? How much put together will it be by the time it hits you guys? That's a question. It really is, but we'll see what happens. This continues to move into Wisconsin, and it gets really intense, particularly in areas of southeast Minnesota uh, around 2, 3, 4 o'clock this afternoon. This will begin to move into central and southern sections of Wisconsin by around just before dinner time. And this really begins to look pretty nasty. This scoots through. Will this be south enough to really affect Chicago? We're not sure. But look at this Boeing out of this line. That to me, that symbolizes a nasty damaging wind threat moving right into maybe Milwaukee. Milwaukee might get hit hard around 6, 7, 8 p.m this evening this moves into michigan and i think it begins to lose some steam but maybe some back building occurs and that's where that flash flooding risk could uh, you know start and originate there but uh how much does this hold together as it starts to look like it's heading towards detroit that's a big question uh, but let's get a closer look at this uh, more into more of an isolated region so let's start this off by and we're a little bit too far away let's start this off by around you know 9 a.m eastern time so around 8 a.m time y'all's time out here this begins to move in this already looks pretty intense this starts to get into around 11 a.m lunchtime I'm minneapolis this is beginning to knock on your door how congealed and put together will this be by the time it moves into minneapolis that's a question that's why it's important i know i say it every video almost when we're talking severe weather download a reliable radar app but anyways this continues to move through but then it becomes very intense lacrosse watch out today around probably 3 to 5 p.m this could get very dangerous for you guys i'm telling you around kind of mid to late afternoon period it could hit y'all pretty hard and then it starts to move into um wisconsin so we'll go on and switch to wisconsin and we'll get to kind of that same time frame here it is right into here moving through uh heading towards uh, madison watch out oshkosh uh then it starts to move to uh, milwaukee and starts to knock on the door around 7 8 p.m you'll probably see this visibly coming and then it really bows out here and then that's when you got to watch out for um the western shores of lake michigan and wisconsin grand rapids grand rapids watch out this could certainly still be pretty intense around 9 10 p.m. this evening. This is starting to get to when the sun goes down. Lansing, Michigan. Watch out. Big storm. I think if you're in northern Michigan, the worst is going to miss y'all. I really do. Pretty confident in that. But this is going to be rather intense. Back building occurring. More storms and heavy rain back here in Wisconsin to the overnight hours. This is going to be an intense complex of storm, guys. It really is. How much does this continue to hold together? That's a big question. It really is. Um, I'm trying to find the 06Z. Um, but yeah here we go um if you look at this it really has it falling apart but this is kind of outdated information but it really has this kind of falling apart by the time it gets to detroit but that might not be the case and that will be overnight so be careful if you're in that part of the country you know big cities milwaukee chicago maybe chicago right now minneapolis um madison uh you know just just be careful up there in that neck of the woods today southeast very quiet just typical summer pattern uh, tropical downpours in Florida. So if you're vacationing in Disney World, you know, it's just how it is that time of the year. And then maybe an isolated storm or two in the Carolinas with just daytime heating, very intense heating. And then the Gulf, Gulf Coast of all the Gulf states down here, Alabama, Mississippi, Florida, Louisiana, certainly some pop-up showers and storms are possible. Maybe some storms drifting into the Southern Appalachian Mountains 
maybe this evening, but not very widespread. The heat will be pretty intense, just typical dog days of summer kind of heat in the southeast, getting all the way up into the mid-90s, maybe upper 90s for certain areas in the Carolinas and Georgia. I think the further, actually, the further northeast you get into North Carolina near Raleigh, getting up into Virginia, Richmond, I think the more closer you'll get into the upper 90s, close to 100, the heat will actually be more intense up here in this part of the country today, but very hot in Arkansas, Tennessee. It's just going to be a hot day. Hot Saturday. Get near a body of water if you can. Uh, Florida will be the only place that has those pop-up showers and storms that save you guys. Uh, the northeast, uh, pretty quiet. You'll watch this complex of storms that probably have an outflow boundary driven, uh, you know, uh, driving it, if you will, out just outside of noontime, getting into the early afternoon hours. Watch out, Pittsburgh. Maybe this holds together. But the good news about this, this could re reinitiate some storms in eastern PA, maybe northern uh, West Virginia. But if you're in Ohio, I don't expect this to be very intense. But this actually could help you guys stay a little bit more cooler today. This will be outflow boundary driven, uh, which means uh, once this outflow moves through PA, it'll cool your temperatures down if you warm up significantly today. But maybe some showers and storms in western Maryland around dinner time later today, northern Michigan. And then the eastern fringes of West Virginia certainly are possible, but not expecting really any severe weather. Heat will be intense, but you can see where that outflow boundary is driving through this afternoon. Cool weather behind it, so that might cool you guys down in Ohio a little bit later this afternoon. And that is actually from the origins of this complex of storms right here. This will continue to drive into Ohio a little bit later today, but just that's a very ugly arrow, by the way. <laughs> but um you know, the, the good news of this is the outflow boundary will drive in, probably cool this entire region right here off this afternoon. But anyways, very hot where that does not occur. Southern New England, Boston, I mean, certain areas in Massachusetts will get into the upper 90s. New Jersey will get over 100 degrees, give or take a location. Uh, Delmarva, very hot. You know, Washington, D.C., Baltimore, Philadelphia, New York City, Boston, all those big cities in the I-95 corridor in the Mid-Atlantic and North East, Northeast. Very, very hot today. South Central U.S., very quiet day compared to the last two days. Maybe if you're lucky, you'll get an isolated downpour or two in, um, in areas of kind of east central, if you will, Texas. But uh, other than that, you know, a lot of a lot of rains in areas of the Rockies and Southern Rockies. But uh, temperatures will be hot today, but, you know, not, not quite as hot as what y'all been dealing with, but still hot. I mean, it's still very hot. And intense surface heating will occur in areas of... Um, Western Kansas and Nebraska and, you know, the plains of Colorado will be scorching a day, well over 100 degrees. So uh, that's pretty much the update for today. I want to mention this. This is the EPS ensembles from overnight, the ensemble run. That doesn't mean you're going to have like 20 tropical systems heading towards us. No, this is an ensemble run. It makes up just a number of runs and shows it all on one run, if you will, if that makes any sense. But uh, this is increasing. Now, I will can turn around and show you the GFS ensembles, which is the GFS ensemble run, and it hardly has no signal. A little bit of a signal, but not much. But there's an uptick here. European is a very reliable model. GFS has not been good with the tropics so far this year. Um, but this is a strong signal. That by the time we get into the, the first few days of uh, August, 240 hours out, guys, by the way. That's over 10 days out you got to watch for something riding around this ridge of high pressure, and it might start to get close to the Bahamas, the Antilles, uh, maybe the southeast. But this is, I'm not sounding any alarms, but we're getting into that time of the year, and we'll talk about this tonight. And you can see it here with the tropical wave right here. It's not much of anything very dry. Um, ridging's weak, but it kind of moves out the way. And here comes the tropical wave getting into about nine, nine to ten days out. And here it is. Not much showing there, but there is something. That looks like a little tropical system. Um, as we're getting into August 1st and 2nd. So anyways, that's all I got, guys. Thank you all for tuning in. Have a great Saturday. God bless all y'all, and I'll talk to y'all this evening.